hardships come to us, all of us, in different ways. And today, we'd like to ease your mind about suffering on the hardship highway. Well, joining us today is Dr. Bill Baker. He's a licensed professional counselor and licensed marriage and family therapist. We thank you so much for coming. I'm oh, glad to be back, Linda. Oh, uh, my question, let's begin with, how can we create a, a level of competence within us in order to be prepared for future hardships? Well, Linda, this issue is incredibly important. Life is a hardship highway. Hardship and suffering will come to each one of us. Now, a successful journey along this highway requires a workable roadmap. Now, my roadmap involves competence. Creating competence involves several key areas. For example, reality, resolution, readiness, and rules. In other words, I understand that hardship is reality. It's going to come and we're not immune to them. Mm -hmm. And because they are coming, we don't need to be surprised. We just need to resolve that when they come, we will face them with courage, experience them with patience, and try to learn all we can from them so we can be better in the future. Now, as that happens, then I have to practice readiness, do some things that will uh, help me to get ready and stay ready, and then learn the rules of the road. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which is my behavior during the hardships. You know, the thing is, we just don't know what's ahead. I mean, what that hardship is going to be. But since readiness is a survival skill, how can we increase our readiness? There are many things we can do ahead of time. Unfortunately, too many of us do not make preparation. And so when the hardship comes, we're easily overcome, easily devastated. For example, our physical health. Mm -hmm. We need to keep our physical health, our physical body, in the best shape possible. We need to cultivate and maintain a strong personal support system so when the hardship comes, we will have resources available to us. Finances are important. We need to uh, adjust our standard of living currently so that we'll have adequate savings set aside to help us get through the hardship. Uh, learning personal skills are important. Things like healthy thinking, effective problem solving, uh, relaxation, appropriate flexibility and our spiritual faith uh, having a personal theology of suffering and to practice that during the hardship these are ways to get ready and to stay ready okay just quickly if you could answer this since life is a, a, a highway of hardships okay. what are some of the rules of the road just a couple well there are many of them one is to drive on the highway stay on the road meaning work our game plan follow the doctor's orders follow the professionals recommendations. Another one is signaling, communicating clearly what our intentions are, what we need so our resource network will know how to help us. The speed limits, mm -hmm. not going too fast, not going too slowly, pacing ourselves so we can get through the hardship as effectively as possible. I hope you come back so that we can kind of break it down and give some more information of well, accomplishing you. those goals and those rules of the road.